The next problem states uh, compare the stability of the following intermediate. In option number of in the first op in the first part of this question number two, we have been given three intermediates and we have to compare the stability of these intermediates. These intermediates are carb anions. Now we have to recall what we have studied before. Neutral species are more stable than charged species. Whether you have positively charged or whether you have negatively charged species, they are less stable than neutral species. Stability increases when we move towards neutrality. Now this negative charge has to be released or this, this, this burden of negative charge has to be eased from this carbon and that job will be done by bromine because bromine is more electronegative than carbon so bromine will be pulling the electron by inductive effect. So electron will move towards bromine and when bromine pulls electron from this carbon atom this carbon atom pulls electron in turn from this carbon. So in two successive steps, some of the electron cloud density from this carbon will be pulled by bromine. So this is the minus I effect of bromine and some electronic cloud will come out of the orbital of that carbon and that carbon will be, the, 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 the burden of that negative charge from that carbon will be released to a certain extent. Although this effect will be weak, but still it is a stabilizing effect. In this case, bromine is at a greater distance from what it was at in, in the first case. So bromine will pull the electron from this carbon atom. Now this carbon atom will pull the electron from this bond and this carbon atom will in turn pull the electron from this bond. So there's a three step movement of electron cloud before it comes out of, before the electronic cloud comes out of the carbon having negative charge. Now this effect will be a weak, um, look, the, the, the extent of inductive effect obviously will be mitigated by the time it reaches to the carbon having negative charge because the amount of electron pulled from the first bond will be the highest, in the next bond it will decrease, in the third bond it will further decrease. So it's a three step process before the electronic cloud really comes out of the carbon having negative charge. In the previous case it was a two step process. Similarly, if we look in the third case, it will be a four step process. Bromine is going to pull from this bond, then you is going to pull from this bond then you will have a movement from this bond and then you will have a movement from this third bond finally you will have a movement of electron cloud density from the fourth bond so that the negative charge really comes out of the carbon having negative charge now uh, uh, this inductive effect becomes very weak after third carbon in the third case inductive effect will be almost negligible because this process gets mitigated this effect of pulling the electron gets mitigated by the time we, we reaches to the third carbon so inductive effect almost is negligible in the third case it's the highest in first case and this it's it's somewhat less in the second case and it becomes almost zero negligible by the time it reaches we reach to the third case as we have seen in the option number two option number B of first question that inductive effect is distance dependent and we can see in here that really inductive effect is distance dependent. So the answer to this problem will be if we have to really see the stability order then 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 option number A the intermediate given in option A is most stable followed by B followed by C. So this will be the answer this will be the stability order of the intermediate shown in first part of question number two. Similarly if we move on to the second part of question number two in second part look we have to think about the most important factor. We have to think, and uh, the most important factor is resonance. But resonance is not going to operate in this in this problem. Resonance is not going to operate in part two because there is no pi bond, and there is no there is no pi bond in conjugation with plus charge. So the resonance is not going to happen. So we have to come down to the next important next prominent effect that is hyperconjugation. If we look for hyperconjugation, there are three alpha hydrogen that can participate in hyperconjugation in A. There are six alpha hydrogen that can participate in option number B. Then there are two alpha hydrogen that can participate in hyperconjugation in third intermediate and finally again there are two hyperconjugation that can operate in the that can participate in hyperconjugation in the fourth intermediate. So uh, the, uh, in deciding the stability of first and second intermediate, it's, it's straightforward. In the intermediate, you are having more hyperconjugation that will be more stable because hyperconjugation releases electron. If more CH bond is participating in hyperconjugation, more amount of electronic cloud density will be released into that empty orbital and deficiency of that empty orbital is, will be fulfilled to a greater extent and that will provide more stability. So. Uh, 
in the intermediate having the highest number of CH bond participating in hyperconjugation that will be most stable and here we can see very clearly that the second intermediate happens to be most stable followed by the first intermediate. In the third and the fourth we have equal amount of hyperconjugation. So hyperconjugation cannot give us the answer because the extent of hyperconjugation is same. Then we come down to the next important effect that is inductive effect. When we don't get the answer from hyperconjugation, then we move down to inductive effect. Inductive effect, uh, if you can see and if you can recall, inductive effect increases when the size of the R group increases because you have more available bonds that can release electrons into the empty orbital. And uh, if you look in the fourth intermediate, you have you have a chain of three carbon attached to the carbon having plus charge and in the third intermediate you have a chain of two carbon attached to the carbon having plus charge. So the alkyl group, it is propyl group attached to C plus and here we have ethyl group attached to C plus. So this group is a bulky group that means the inductive effect will be greater in the fourth intermediate. So if I have to write the stability order, most stable intermediate will be B because it, uh, it has highest amount of CH bond participating in hyperconjugation followed by A and then we have to look for C and D and C and D have same amount of hyperconjugation so answer comes from inductive effect and fourth intermediate has greater inductive effect and then we'll have C. So B, A, D, C will be the order of stability based upon hyperconjugation and inductive effect. Similarly if you look to the third part of the problem we have now resonance as well operating. So because we have this pi bond in conjugation with plus charge so there will be resonance. There will be resonance in the first part, there will be resonance in the second part, there will be resonance in the third part as well. And the extent of resonance will be same in all the intermediates will have two resonating structures. So resonance is not going to give us the stability order because the extent of resonance is same in all the three cases. Then we come down to hyperconjugation. After resonance, the next important prominent profound factor is hyperconjugation. If we look at the first intermediate, the, the plus charge, this plus charge enjoys the hyperconjugation of this methyl group. If we look in the second intermediate, the plus charge is at C1. After resonance, it will bypass C2 and it will come at C3 and the methyl group happens to be on C2. That means the plus charge will not enjoy the hyperconjugation from methyl group. That means the extent of hyperconjugation is greater in the first intermediate because there is no hyperconjugation by methyl group in the second intermediate because the plus charge does not come in front of methyl group. From C1, it goes to C3. Now it comes to C2. In the third case, if you see, hyperconjugation does operate. This methyl group do, does participate in hyperconjugation and this C plus does, does uh, enjoys the hyperconjugation of this methyl. So uh, uh, intermediate 1 and intermediate 3 are almost having same amount of stability because the extent of resonance is same, extent of hyperconjugation is same. So it will not be, it, it will be very correct if we say the intermediate in the the first and third intermediates are almost of same stability. But if someone pinpoints and say, no, I have to compare, tell me which one is more stable, first or third, then uh, we have to look for other effect like inductive effect. As we can see, in there's an extra methyl group in the third intermediate which is not there in the first part. And this methyl group will not participate in hyperconjugation because it is at much further distance from the C+. Plus. It is not at alpha position. But um, what it can do is, it can, it can release some electron in this bond that will come into this bond and that will ultimately come into this bond and enter into the orbital of this carbon having plus charge. So this effect will be very less as we can see in this, this will be the three step process. But still, still there will be some inductive effect, still there will be some electron releasing effect no matter how less it is. So there will be some slight more stabilizing effect in the third intermediate because of this inductive effect. So third, will, third, third intermediate is supposed to be most stable out of these three. So th this will be the general, general um, method of comparing the stability of in any given compounds. First you look for resonance, then we look for hyperconjugation and then we look for inductive effect. No two compounds will have same stability unless they are identical. If they are not identical then some of the effects will be different. Either resonance will be different or hyperconjugation will be different or inductive effect will be different. All these three cannot be seen unless two compounds are identical. So the stability will not be same, ev never be same for two different intermediates because any of the in in stability order, any of the stabilizing effect must be different in two compounds if they are not identical. 
So here the answer would be C is most stable followed by A followed by B. These are some some trivial problems based upon what we have studied and we ha you have to have a hold over this. If if you if you were not able to follow this then you have to go to go back to previous lectures in which we have studied inductive effect hyperconjugation and resonance before you jump into another video lecture. This if if this was not very clear to you I would suggest you to go back and learn things again before you switch over to next video lecture. Opening next video lecture can be devastating if you don't know things uh, otherwise it will be more confusing and fuzzy get your concepts clear then only move ahead I hope uh, uh, this thing was clear to you thank you very much in the next lecture we'll be moving on taking the next thing in the course and probably we'll be learning about reaction mechanisms and we'll be moving more closer towards reaction mechanisms thank you